Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Recruiting really starting to pick up here lately for Tennessee. On Thursday, got a commitment from three-star defensive back Sidney Walton. And then yesterday, we got the Fong bomb. Is it a spoiler alert? Four-star in-state wide receiver, Radarius Jackson, predicted to Tennessee. Uh, according to AP, sounds like Radarius Jackson is going to come off the board sometime early next week. But a lot of positive momentum in recruiting right now. Made videos on both of those topics throughout the week. Go check it out. A lot of content went up on the channel this week, so we appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out. But also, this came out last night. 247 Sports has logged a crystal ball prediction for Tennessee to land the massive four-star offensive tackle Jalen Matthews. Uh, Matthews has offers from Georgia, Texas, Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. Now, he was one time a Penn State commit, uh, decommitted back in September of 2023. We had him on the channel just recently. He calls himself the best offensive tackle in the country, and that's not cockiness. That's confidence. He loves competition, likes the idea of playing in the SEC, just recently trimmed his list down to a top three. It's all Georgia, Tennessee, and Miami. He said he didn't want to waste time with other programs that he wasn't going to attend. So those are the three that he's going to focus on. Feels more like, to me, it's a Tennessee-Miami type of battle. Uh, he came on my radar after the George McIntyre commitment. You know, I've talked about it before on this channel. George commits to Tennessee. Uh, Jalen Matthews kind of comes out of the woodwork and says, hey, do you need an offensive lineman to come block for you? Comes in town for Junior Day in February, falls in love with Tennessee, back in town for the Orange and White game, and Tennessee is deep in it. The crystal ball prediction is in. I'm feeling confident. Are you feeling confident? Again, he was back in town for the Orange and White game, spent some time with George McIntyre and David Sanders, likes the idea of playing with those guys. Uh, but we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. But as always, I need you guys to do me a quick favor. Hit the thumbs up just below the video all that youtube stuff uh if you're new to the channel welcome we're not experts here we're not insiders we're not media we don't pretend to be any of that stuff we are fans we talk about the news the rumors speculation that's what this channel is all about if you like that idea of sitting around with your buddies talking tennessee football all day every day then think about subscribing click that bell for notifications you're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video got a live stream coming up on wednesday night it's a live film breakdown offensive line versus defensive line coach jay has to pick a defensive lineman uh rocky top tom has to pick an offensive lineman couple of high school football coaches going head to head breaking down film on some tennessee recruits so come join us wednesday night at 7 p.m i'm live every tuesday night 6 30 playing ncaa football we'll talk recruiting transfer portal all that type of stuff uh, but let's get into it let's talk about jalen matthews massive 6'5, 275 out of new jersey a uh, four-star prospect you can see they're just outside the top 300 at on three, 25th best offensive tackle in the country, uh, but he calls himself the number one offensive tackle in the country. And I saw some people over on the general's quarters on the VolQuest message board saying, kind of funny, Tennessee gets deep in this recruitment, Tennessee trending, according to some people, and then all of a sudden his rankings fall. Look, we've not played football. It's been the spring, right? It's been, it's been, it's been baseball. It's been golf. We've, we're doing everything but playing football. Why are we adjusting rankings now? You guys love a good tenfold hat conspiracy. Is he dropping because Tennessee is trending for the big offensive tackle? Uh, now, there's no scouting report. I went to 247 Sports, went to On3, no scouting report. But uh, I want to take a look at some film because I want to show you guys something. When we had Jalen Mann Matthews on the channel. He talked about his speed. He told us on the channel that he runs a 4940 at 275 pounds. Now, if you watch this next play coming up, second play, he also plays on the defensive line. Uh, you can see some of that speed and athleticism here. Does he run a 4940? I don't know. I'll take him for his word, but watch this speed to track down the ball carrier. That is a lot of speed and athleticism for a big fella. Now, I did find this over at RutgersWire.com. It's a brief little scouting report. It says Matthews has a combination of strength, athleticism, and impressive footwork. There is no block Matthews can't make. Uh, his aggressiveness on film stands out. His natural position is left tackle, but Matthews is a diverse player and can also play play on the right side again what stands out to me when you watch his film is watching the defensive side of the ball shows off his speed his athleticism but then when you watch the offensive side and spoiler alert we got a film breakdown coming up on Jalen Matthews that will drop probably 
sometime next week. So be on the lookout for that. We got Shady Hayward coming up next. May drop that tomorrow on Sunday, maybe Monday morning. That's a fun one, too. Shady is a violent, violent individual. But we got the Jalen Matthews film breakdown coming after that. And one of the things that Coach Jay talked about throughout that film breakdown was that he loves his size and frame, says he has an NFL frame, says he has NFL hands, not just the size, but also the placement. When he's in when he's in contact, when he makes that initial punch, hands are always in the right spot, always manages to get low and underneath uh, the, the, the defender. And a lot of the film that we watch, the defenders are, are way smaller than Matthews, but he still manages to get lower, get that good hand placement like Coach Jay says, drive the shoulder pads like a steering wheel. Again, that breakdown will drop sometime next week. But you guys can see some of that athleticism shown on the film right now. Look at look at the speed, man. Just, just the speed of the big fella out there running around wrecking shop. Uh, I'm excited. I think he's an athletic specimen. I think he is a, a dog. He's got that competitive nature in him. Now, he has scheduled some official visits. He's going to be taking visits uh, to Miami on June the 7th, Tennessee on the 14th, and Georgia on June the 21st. Now, the interesting thing I saw just recently, uh, he changed his commitment date. He's actually going to make that commitment on June the 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be in talks with him to confirm that time. We're going to go live and cover it right here on the Talking Balls Network. I don't know if he's going to stream it on his Instagram or if he's going to go on another platform. Uh, we'll see how that plays out, but we will be covering it live on the channel. Uh, from our conversation with him, he, he was here the, the Sunday after the Orange and White game, the day he got back home, uh, he jumped on for Talking Balls Live. If you missed that, go back and give it a watch. I'll link it at the end of this. We'll put it in a little box up there. You guys can go click it. Fun conversation. He likes the idea of playing in the SEC. Uh, SEC. He called it big boy football in the trenches. He loves competition. The idea of playing against elite talent, not only in the SEC, but also on the practice field. Again, he calls himself the number one offensive tackle in the country. I'm not here to debate that. He likes the idea of going against Rodney Garner's defensive line. You know, we, we, we talked about it, and he said he liked the competition of the orange and white game, the back and forth, but he wants to go against the best defensive line in the country. He also loves Tennessee, the town. He talked about staying out by the Tennessee theater, said it was beautiful, said it was gorgeous, said it felt like he was on Broadway, felt like a dream. He also loves this fan base. You know, we showed up, showed out, and showed love at that orange and white game. Said, you know, it's always GBO. It's always Go Vols. Or everybody's wearing orange. Uh, so he likes his fan base. He likes Knoxville. He likes the SEC. After his visit to the orange and white game, he said, they want me to be a part of the program and a part of the team. I'm a loyal person. So whoever I commit to, I'm going to be loyal to that, and that's what I'm going to do. And that leads to peer recruiting, right? I think George McIntyre has played a big part in Jalen Matthews trending towards Tennessee or Tennessee being in the mix. Coach Jay says it all the time. Elite talent wants to play with five-star quarterbacks. George is that five-star quarterback, and I think that peer recruiting is playing into Tennessee's advantage. But if we get Jalen Matthews in the boat, guess what? We got another big stud that's going to be doing peer recruiting. When we had him on the show, we asked him a question. We said, Jalen, if you commit to the University of Tennessee, who do you want to play with? This is what he had to say. So if I, if I went to Tennessee – um, definitely George McIntyre, um, the type of person he is and the type of quarterback he is. And, um, he's a leader. Um, I watched his film because once you're, once you're like looking at schools, you know, you want to know who you're blocking for, um, and who's mm -hmm. behind you and you can trust them. And, um, the way he plays, he plays, uh, he plays as an amazing quarterback. I've never seen someone have the footwork he has and the way he throws the ball with such finesse. Um, and, uh, so him, I'd like to play with. Definitely David Sanders. Um, you know, I was I would say we're like a duo. Um, mm -hmm. When I went to when we when we met each other, we texted each other before we went to uh, Rocky Top. Um, but when we met in person, um, you know, he was he, he was an amazing guy, amazing. Uh, you know, he plays he plays exactly how I play, punch mouth football. Uh, and of course, he wants to win a national championship. We we've, we've had talks about it about what schools we're going to. Um, you know. And what, what tools we're interested in, and uh, we're, we're we're pretty close right now. Um, you know, I think I think in the future we'll be very good friends. Um, so him, I'd also want to play with um, who else? The kid Bo Jackson. Um, mm. He's a he's a he's a good football player. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think he can live up to the name for sure. Um, but you know, definitely those three kids. George McIntyre, David Sanders, and Bo Jackson. We get Jalen Matthews in the boat, then we're going to go to work on David Sanders. And again, 
I, I've talked about the, the offensive line group to death, but I think there's a, a huge opportunity for Glenn Ellerby to stack two really good t- uh, classes on top of each other with the class of 24 and then the class of 25. You get Jalen Matthews, you get David Sanders. According to AP, Tennessee is back in the thick of things with Josh Petty, another five-star offensive tackle, grew up a Tennessee fan, kind of fell out of the conversation, but having good dialogue the last couple of weeks, according to AP, uh, and that's a guy that Tennessee wants to slide from offensive tackle into guard. Now you're putting together a pretty dang solid offensive line. But what do you guys think? Jump into the comment section. Let's talk about it. Is Jalen Matthews trending to Tennessee? We will keep you guys up to date. We'll be covering his recruitment, his commitment live right here on the Talking Balls Network. But I need you guys to do me a favor on the way out the door. Make sure you do hit the thumbs up. Go check out the Talking Balls merchandise, bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. That link is also in the description below. Also, as always, thank you to the members of the channel. Couldn't do this without you guys. You want to be support uh, supportive of what we do around here. Think about hitting that join button. It's right beside subscribe, and you can do that for just $1 a month. You get a power T beside your name, custom talking balls, emojis, access to fan call-in shows, all kinds of fun perks and benefits. But that is going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.